Hello and welcome to another update video about a link. On the link chart, we want to take a look at the bullish and bearish scenarios. I think it's more important than ever to take a look at those now that we are deep in the support zone for the bullish count, yeah, as highlighted there in um, as highlighted there in uh, in in white. Sorry, um, just was looking at this number. I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> Five. Five times one, eleven dollars, eleven one, whatever. Okay, so it must be a sign. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Okay, so obviously we want to take a look at the bullish and bearish scenarios. We are deep in support for the bullish count, for the white count. That gives you here on the four-day chart um, an interpretation of the bullish roadmap provided and that's always been the condition that is the condition provided it's holding the six dollar ninety level since the yeah from the moment on that this correction started in march the six dollar ninety level was on the chart as critical support we're now getting closer to it doesn't mean we have to test six dollars ninety it is quite likely to test it but the low could be in but if the low is already in in this wave two correction we have a three wave pullback, absolutely, but then we need to see a five wave pattern to the upside next. Best bullish indication would be a break above the $19.22 level, roughly, yeah, this swing high, the X wave high, and ideally in five waves. So wave one ideally forms a five wave move. That would, however, only be possible as a diagonal pattern because this move to the upside is only a three wave move. Just notice I need to change the wave degree here, but um, that would be circle wave one, yeah? And within circle one, we wanna see five waves. So far, we only have three waves. There is much more work needed to do. What it, that basically means that at the moment, the rally from the low is just corrective. We have overlapping price action there. And therefore I cannot clearly favor the white wave count yet because we haven't got the first five wave move up. Good evidence that we've bottomed would therefore be a five wave move up in circle wave one, followed by a three wave pullback to form a higher low. And that would also be a setup to, for example, trade the third wave of a third wave. So elite wave traders might be at the moment looking for positions in this support zone, but they might be careful because the low is not confirmed yet. One strategy is, for example, to carefully scale into the sell off. It is always catching the falling knife. Therefore, it can really only be done with spot positions. Positions need to be small because the stop would either be below the support area or below the invalidation point, which is the June 23 low. That's one way of handling that. I'm not sure if that's the right way for you to do it. That will depend on your risk profile, personal situation, tactics, and so on, trading experience. But it is one way of handling this, but not to be too aggressive because as I just said, the um, price could still go lower, right? And therefore the positions would normally need to be small when scaling in. But once the price gives us a signal that a low has formed, it is possible to be a bit more aggressive. For example, with a first five up, three down move, that trade could be scaled up with a stop then below the August low. That's just some tactical, there's some tactical ideas um, about this. But that would be the bullish count. And it could take us to $90, $100 actually, $100 plus. Um, but we are not there yet, right? There's a long way to go. This is still a potential on the chart, but the bulls need to turn up, all right? And they haven't turned up yet. So that means what happens if we just go down further? What happens if we break below $6.90? So important to mention that the $6.90 level is not an invalidation point. The invalidation point is the red line at around $4.90. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good time to sell. Again, when, when we have invalidation, that will depend again on your personal portfolio tactics, strategies, whatever. What we often see when we get, for example, a rapid sell off is that many people are panic selling. And then even if um, a more bearish scenario is playing out, then we might still see a rebound that often gives us a better exit. But again, that's just um, trading strategies. I just wanna help you here understand the Elliott Wave structures and the roadmaps. So the white count still possible, not confirmed yet. In the yellow scenario, um, we are actually preparing for a larger sell off here in wave three to the downside. That would become more likely with a break below 690, followed by a break below 495 roughly. Um, then we could look at a, yeah, a much larger sell off in a larger third wave to the downside. That bearish count shouldn't be anything new. We talked about it before. 
few times, especially when when um, you know you're looking at the the longer time frame videos, it's always there. That's just something that becomes much more in the or that comes much more in the focus with a break below 690. But we are still holding the 690 level. Yeah. Important is the correction is still set to continue until we get a first five wave move to the upside. Let's take also a quick look at the shorter time frame because on the lower time frames we can actually see the microstructure and just wanted to help you understand why this is just a corrective rally at the moment. It is only in three waves as you can see. Next here on the micro level we want to see a break above the red trend line which could indicate the start of wave C of three and then as I said we need those five waves completed. Um, yeah. To, to give us that evidence that we are in the next larger wave up. But for now, I'm just I'm tracking both scenarios here. And in the very short term, support is at 10.45. And then we have $9.90 as a micro invalidation point for the white structure. Below that level here also, we could still explore possibly one more low. But as I said, below $6.90, which is this 78.6 retracement, also on the larger time frame, a more bearish scenario becomes more likely, but not confirmed until we break below that um, 2023 low. That's the update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.